In the big bill stack, we'll keep you in the know. In the big bill stack, we'll fix your techie woes. And we'll break things up, we'll make these till we're all together raking. And we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack. In the big bill stack, come and join our fire crew. In the big bill stack, we will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it. And we'll tell the world about it. And forget to tidy up, that's why it's now a bill stack. Hello and welcome to Bilge Tank 196. Um, just the two of us today, me and Tanya. Yeah. Hello. Um, and we're going to be talking about microbit things. Microbit things. New things. We have all the microbits. Yes. Where Where should we start? Um, well, we have a look at the shop page for That's the new a good products. Place. So we've got two new products out this week for the microbit, and we have the pin bit as attached to this little thing here and we have the scroll bit there we go Oops. one slightly bigger than the other one slightly spikier than the other yep. okay so uh pin bit first okay can i have the little doodad the pointy downy thing mm -hmm. <laughs> please uh, i can try <laughs> we're yep. not really sure about the buttons yeah. That's the right button. There we go. Okay, so here's here's the pin bit. Um, as you can see, it's got a little header that you just pop your micro bit into. And on the other end, some broken out pins, all handily, lovely labelled. She said, trying to get it in the centre. There you go. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? Proper zoom. Um, does the header come attached? It does. It does? Yeah. So there's no soldering then. That's great. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the kind of nerdy thing about this is we're using a thing called um, intrusive reflow, I believe, to, to do this. So basically the the, the stainless steel um, stencil for the um, um, for the PCBs has um, basically kind of like cutouts for where the um, where the header pin holes are. Um, and um, solder paste gets pasted into those holes mm. um, and um, then the pins get kind of inserted um, after the pick in place has been done. Um, cool. Well actually, yeah, yeah I guess that must be how it's done. Anyway, anyway, it's, anyway quite, it's, quite, it's quite nifty. It's quite nifty. It comes with pins. It comes with pins. Um, so, yeah, um, and putting it on and off is just really, 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 really easy. Yeah. It looks incredibly neat as well, the soldering on it, if you can get the... Is that... That may be a pro... Oh, no, that's... Is that a pro... I, think I that don't know a, if that's a prototype That's a prototype one, one yeah. Because I've been playing the, with them for a little bit. I've got another You've one. You've got one there. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a great one to look at. Okay. Here's the other um, one. You can mm. see... Yeah. If, if, I can't line it up. If you look at where the soldering is, it's like it's almost like it's not been soldered at all. But um... <laughs> <laughs> there's a bear in the room. He's going to do something. Think anyway, that. sorry, we yeah. we need to carry on talking. Um, so yes, I've got my prototype one, but as you can see on Sandy's um, one, it's Sandy. attached to the breadboard. Yes. And we've discovered that you can attach it to pretty much any breadboard yep. you like. Let's, so we got. Let's do that. Got loads of different ones. Shall I do it here or there? Um, that's, that's up to you. Yeah, do it with your one. But, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to do it on camera rather than off. There we go. Um, the audio might go down here for a second, I think. Yeah. My yeah. mode. Yeah. They can sound all cute and squeaky. Condition your ass. <laughs> Do we sound any better now? Can you hear us? Nobody can hear us because nobody said anything. Can you hear us? <laughs> there is a delay though, so you can say can you hear us and then they might not say, any say anything. I'm going to stare at the microphone because that will make it work. Does it work? No, we just got the back of your head.
I need a whiteboard. Hello? Is that better? Can you hear us now? Can you hear us now? (laughs) Paul says yes. (laughs) What? Give me 15 seconds. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry about that. Um, We had... um, We kind of dismantled things for reasons. For secret... Top secret reasons we had things kind Top of Top secret reasons, and, yes, that all yeah. the things got dismantled, no. unplugged, and got plugged back in about maybe half an hour ago. Yeah, mm. cool. Okay. So where do we get to? So pin bit, um, you can plug it into breadboards. Breadboards, um, yeah. It so. has pins on it. Um, I mean, the good thing about this is that um, the micro bit has, um, obviously has the um, the big pins with the, the big holes um, that you can kind of like put crocodile clips on. Big pins. And they're really easy to yeah. get to. Um, and then it's got the little ones in between. Um, do you want to get that in the closer? It might, might be better to actually just yeah. use that one. Yeah. So you can see between the numbers, there's little pins. Um, these, are two, these are pins too? Yep. So the good thing about pin bit is that it breaks out all of those pins. All of those, yeah. Um, and you can do useful things with them. Um, I, like, I'm really scared of mixing up my micro bits yeah, here. I remember this was this one. <laughs> was it? Um, yeah. Are you sure? So we've got lots of demos set up on lots of different micro bits. Yes. Um, so yeah. Yep. But it's it's quite easy to plug it in the wrong way as well. Skills that I have, but there you go. In. Yeah. Out. And the good thing is, is then you can have one thing set up on one breadboard, something else set up on another one, and you can just swap them around quite easily, which is handy. Hmm. That's the one I dropped on the floor earlier, so we won't be using that one. <laughs> um, right. Um, yeah, so we've got um, we've got a couple of demos. I've moved everything round now. Yeah, um, I did give them to some year fives, and one one of the first things well, we that they caught on it was. Yet. <laughs> haven't seen that. <laughs> Have you got your um, pin bit? Yeah, I've got the pin bit one. Yeah, cool, so pin bit one. I got distracted. Um, We've got too many shinies to play with. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of our um, our first foray into micro bit things. Um, yeah. The first of many. Um, I think David Glaude on Twitter last night kind of, uh, when he saw scroll bit, he was like, that looks kind of like scroll fat for the micro bit. Um, but you've got lots of other fats that you could also <laughs> like port across to micro bit. Yeah, funny so, that. So, yeah, that might happen. <laughs> right. Let's actually power up the right one, then. I have issues. It's that USB Ooh, thing, isn't lights. it? The wow. USB thing goes either way. Yeah, um, I was playing with this one, and it should... Um. Should take an input from there. Probably won't. If you send us an email at support at pimroni.com with your order number, then we can probably, we can't promise to do it for everyone, but if you want a specific colour of micro bit, if we have it in stock, then we can add a note to the order and try and give you. Yeah, um, especially the if you've got two want. children. But, um, <laughs> yeah. But you can we'll, put little cats on them too, like we'll do we've done to colour code them. Um, yeah. We don't have any yellows at the moment. I think we have a few reds, um, and like Paul says, there's lots of green and blues. Mm. Um, so, yeah. There we go. I was holding it too tight, which is very helpful. <laughs> Hello to David. Hello. <laughs> um, so what's this demo doing, Tanya? Um, I was trying to look at the. Uh, oh, it's flashing. Human body capacitive touch thing, um, to make the lights flash. But to be honest, this one isn't my best lights demo. <laughs> You had um, a pulse sensor linked I up to it. I did have well, a pulse, pulse sensor linked up to it. Um, I found it difficult to get the power for the pulse sensor because the micro bit doesn't actually kick out a lot of current. So yeah. it's um, it's difficult to get <laughs> it to power as many things as you can with your Raspberry Pi. Yeah, so that's, more playing around with that one, I think. But yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny you mention that because uh, I know that um, John and Nico, when they've been making these micro bit add ons, they've really been kind of like struggling against a number of like yeah. barriers and um, one of which is the current limitation for add-ons and um, another of which is the kind of limited amount of memory which oh. um phil's really been struggling <laughs> with yeah um, um i think the limited amount of memory yes which is why they say you should only run eight neopixels off one of them um 
powering them, but you can run way more than that um, controlled by it. So I think yep. Qubit, Lorraine's uh, ginormous cube of lights, runs on one microbit, which controls is it 512 lights? It's 8 by 8 by 8. Yes. Sums. Yeah. Uh, no. No? Well, yeah. Two, no. 250. No, no, it's more than that. 8 by 8 is 64. Times eight is roughly like times in by ten, which is about well, six hundred. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, do you want to do your one? Um. Yes. Would you like um, a battery pack for it? You can just. You should just be able to plug it into that red cable, I think. Mhm. Mm I'll be. You um, don't get to twiddle it then. Yep. Flipping oh, it. So. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's really hard to see that LED. Could you hold it a bit closer? Hold it up a bit. <laughs> Could I shade it with my hands? Um, so basically, we can look at the code for this. Um, let's. Um, yeah. So we didn't mention yet that um, our microbit add-ons we think are primarily going to um, have make codes libraries um, for them. Where possible, we're also going to do MicroPython libraries. Um, but MicroPython is a bit of a struggle, like I was saying, because of the memory thing. Um, and Phil's been kind of like writing libraries and then <laughs> trying to like transfer them across and um, saying it, getting kind of out of memory errors. And it's been a it's, learning it's, experience. Yeah, it's been, it's been hard, hard for Phil. Um, <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so this is, I mean, yeah, this is like the simplest kind of demo that you can get. Um, essentially, we've got a potentiometer, um, the output of which is going into analog zero. Um, so, um, and then there's an LED that's connected up to pin eight. Um, and the analog value of the potentiometer um, has basically just been kind of passed into the analog value for that LED. Mm -hmm. um, so when you turn the potentiometer, the LED gets brighter or, or dimmer. Um, and you could obviously replace that potentiometer with any kind of analog um, input or sensor or yeah. whatever you wanted. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to load up the previous project so that I can do the thingies. For so me. that's. Um, yeah, and you can do all sorts. You can do, um, you can have buttons connected up. You can have LEDs. You could have um, NeoPixels. You can, you can even do things like I squared C and SPI. Um, so you can do all sorts. Really, it's just uh, an easy way to get access to the pins, and also one that fits into breadboards. Um, Which is nice. To build little projects. So it's very similar to kind of Explorer Hat Pro. I guess in that sense, hmm. um, yeah. So that's. I was just trying to make nice, nicer, nicer colours. Yeah. But I don't know if uh, they'll come out with nicer colours or not. Should I play with your this potentiometer? Can yeah. you actually see it doing anything? Should be able to. You should be able to if my nails weren't so long. You have to turn it quite a long way. Yeah. There you go. You can see. Oh yeah. Go on. Oh, dimmer. Yeah. There we go. So yeah. No bright. Of course, you could just wire the output of the potentiometer straight to the LED to do this, but that would be less fun. Yeah. Um, you can play with circuits. There you go. So... Made a rainbow. <laughs> um, but it is that quick to program the microbit, which is what I like. Yep. So, have we got any more of those ones? No, because I dropped the other one, didn't I? I did. I dropped did. this one. Yeah. So this that was like a traffic light demo, wasn't um, it? No, this or one was, um, you press the button and it lights up the LED of that colour, but it also oh. changes the string of lights to that colour. But um, yes, like I said, yeah. it, it it had issues. I think I destroyed Never. it. I think I knocked it on the floor and it fell apart. I was being kind. I said I knocked yeah. it off. But yeah, you did. You destroyed. Destroyed it, Sandy. Never forgive you. Yeah. Um, right, so where are we going with the next one then? Oh, so the next one is da, 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 scroll bit, um, basically scroll fat for the micro bit. Um, one hundred and nineteen LEDs, yes, um, white LEDs, um, individually controllable. Um, so you can control the brightness of each individual LED. 
um, rather than just controlling the brightness of the whole matrix at the one time. Um, so it allows you to do things like scrolling text, um, animations, icons, yep. graphs. Shall I, shall I plug in your ghost? Yep. Okay, okay. Um, and Phil's written a make code library oh. for this. Um, if I've got it the right way out. There we go. So Sorry, my, my face when I'm playing with this is like, this is the best. Look at it, little mm -hmm. shaky ghost. Doesn't have to be a ghost. Doesn't have to be a snowman. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's the link for it. Oh, um, helps if I can actually tilt this thing properly. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be a ghost. So uh, Sandy did the ghost and I just swapped it out for something cuter. No, no, I was, I was just. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've got the spirit level, do you? Uh, no, you have. It? I've got it. Oh, I keep thinking it's upside down and it's not. So you've got. A, is that a duck? Yeah, it's a dead little duck. Hopefully it will yeah. uh, actually tilt. Yeah, the no, tilt. It was working earlier, but of uh, course it's decided not to now. Have you tried oh, no, it has. Oh. There you go. Now the duck, when when I give up on it. There we go. Right. Right yeah, the tilt seems to be kind of sensitive to the to the angle. It's at. it works better if you kind of hold yeah, it, it does, like it? hold it flat on a desk and then like tip it in the one axis. Um, that's okay. why I I'm think holding I'm it. Kind of testing it. I'm holding it and tipping yeah. it now. Uh, well, yeah. Maybe I just need to shake <laughs> the duck down. Shake it down. <laughs> it worked. It worked <laughs> as well. I shake the little thing out. Cool. Right there we go. Yep. So, um, so taking that a bit further. Um, is this one, if you want to plug that in. Um, and that's the one that's up on screen here. Um, there. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, so let's have a look at the make code library. Um, so there are various different um, blocks that you can add. Um, you can... Um, the top one is for scrolling text. Um, so you can type in a word or a sentence yeah. and scroll it at a, at a given brightness um, and the delay controls the speed of the scrolling. Yes. Um, and as I'm going to go go back with your one, but just to show the scrolling text, yeah. this is the, uh, oh. it's the year fives. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. But yes, yeah. back um, to yours, go on. You can display icons um, as the ghost and the duck and whatever, whatever you want um, mm -hmm. on the display. Um, you can display arrows, so I guess that's useful when used with the uh, accelerometer. Yeah, or you can use it with the compass the, that's inbuilt to point yeah. yourself in the right direction. Yeah. Be good. Um, or you can set individual pixels. Um, so you can put that, that you can put that in a loop to kind of like, like fill up all the pixels or kind of like scroll across or whatever you want. Mm. Um, and also, it's important to remember that when you do either the icon, the arrows, or the pixels, you also have to add the display your changes block. Yeah. Um, to kind of like push all of the pixels that you've set actually to yeah. be displayed on the. Like with the, the blink, where you have to show. Yep. show your changes yep. it's the same sort of thing um, and obviously clearing it would be useful before you draw anything on it yep and then there's a couple of variables for the number of columns and the number of rows mm -hmm. so you don't have to kind of type in um, 17 and 7 every time no and um, you can just use those variables yeah um, and there's more um, oh yeah there's more, more. yeah there's <gasps> more I've not clicked on this yet have you not found that bit mm. oh draw yeah. So you can draw a thing that you've defined earlier, uh, or yeah, text. Okay. So display LEDs from text. Well, yeah, you can have to play with. You this. get to play with that later. Yeah, but not on air. Um, tends to make for slow telly. Um, so tell me about this one, Sandy, that you made. Yep. So this is um. Yeah. So this is a spirit level, um, and basically what it does is um in a loop, so a loop that just runs constantly, it's clearing all of the pixels that have been set and then it's setting the pixel that is at 
um, um, a column number that is defined by this horrendous um, thing. It's a block within a block within a block, like the yeah, Russian dolls. Yeah. The, the funny thing is that if I tried to do this in Python, I could do it in probably a minute. Um, like typing all the code and thinking about what I had to do and every, everything like that. But now you know how I feel when I'm writing um, Python. But because this is like so kind of like stripped down mm. and simple, it was really hard for me to put it together. It, yeah. So it's kind of it, it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. How that kind of relates to to your kind of like level of coding. Uh, yeah. But then if you were to start at kind of the other end of the spectrum and not know much coding, then you'd find this much easier. And then at a later stage, when you went on to proper coding, you would probably... Proper coding. Well, well kind of um, <laughs> more advanced coding. Um, yeah. You would, um, you would probably be learning from stuff that you'd done with the blocks. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of interesting. I kind of wish that I'd done something like this before I went let it dive straight into Python. Yeah. Because I found it very, there was like probably a period of like a few weeks where I was just like, couldn't get anything to work and was just really kind of at the end of my tether with it. Um, but yeah. So anyway, so um, yeah, it's using the accelerometer x axis to set the column. Give it a wobble again. Um, and you have to add, because the, the x accelerometer values from minus. 10.23 to plus 10.23 you have to add 10.23 so to, kind to kind of correct for it. shift it all up yeah. and then divide by 20.46 to get a number between 0 and 1 and then um, multiply by 16 although I've done it a different way um, Yep, and then the same thing for the row but with the y axis yeah. um, cool so yeah it looks horrendous, but it, <laughs> it works. And it, it's like one block, basically. Um, so what have we got so left? That's quite cool. I'm, I'm not sure what's on that one. Um, Do you know what's on that one? I don't know. Plug it in and see. Plug it in and find out. Plug, <laughs> it, plug it in away from the screen, just in case. Yeah. There's yours. Um, oh, it, it doesn't do anything terribly bad at all. It was my first first go on this. This is what happens if you don't clear your pixels at the uh, end. Okay. But hello world. Hello world. Yay. It's the uh, the classic. Yeah. Um, the other thing about make code is that um, you can switch between the blocks page and the JavaScript page. Mm -hmm. um, so you can like build up your codes with the blocks and then click on the JavaScript and see the codes that's actually been written by those blocks. Yeah. Um, so it's quite nice as well. Or of course you could go straight into the JavaScript and <laughs> type just it in that way but go straight in. Who wants to who wants to actually type in the JavaScript? Type? Who wants to type? Um, Sorry, I'm playing with the lights now. <laughs> um, so if you want to install the library, um, Sorry. The way to do it is, um, if we just reset everything, um, then... Oh. Will, it, will it forget it for you? Yeah. Yep, so it's now disappeared from the list of blocks. Um, so to add it, what you would do would be, you would... Um, the way I did it was I went to the Pimroni GitHub page um, and then went to PXT scroll bit, clicked on that, um, then if I can copy it, then copy that URL um, and then switch back to make code and then you click on the little cog and add package. Oh, big reflection of the um, ceiling there. And then paste that URL in, press enter, um, and then mm -hmm. it should pop up. Ooh, it's got a pretty picture. We've got a it. picture of it now. I wonder if it, it might be live actually on the on the Make Code page now. It might have been now. approved now. Yeah. Okay, well try try doing um, it the other way then. So that's one way to do it. Um, let's see if it is. Um, let's just try taking scroll bit. Mm -hmm. 
Yay. Yeah. Well, so that's done. Oh, we've been okay. approved then, so cool. we don't we don't need the workaround. Fantastic. Yeah. So Ooh. you can just go add package, type in scroll bit, and it should just yeah. pop up. I think there's also a web page as well that has all of these um, make code libraries on. Mm. Um, let's just find that. So we did, we did have like a temporary instructions for installing it straight from GitHub, yep. um, which are included on our education website, which isn't a website yet, but it does have some downloads on there. Um, I think we're we going to put the links on the product page for these. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So the Tilting Ghost example that we just showed you there, uh, the code for that and some ideas for extending it is, uh, is on there. Um, would it work with Scroll Fat HD? Sorry, I'm reading the things at the same time. I don't know, we'll have to try it. It might it might try to draw too much current. Um, it might. Because we have so although it looks very similar, we've tweaked um the components that run the back slightly. Um I think. Okay. Um so it may it may pull too much current. Um yeah. This is in answer to. It's uh, only one way to, to find out. <laughs> to yeah. the question of with, whether it would work with a scroll for HD and the Fortronics bit to Pi. So, back to where we were. Um, well, Sandy's just having a look for the list of all the packages. Um, I was showing off these, which is uh, just a series of little examples which you can use as worksheets oh, with your code yeah. club or in classes. Okay. And they should all print off on one sheet of A4. That one says technical difficulties on the back, but you know. They don't print off with technical difficulties on the back. So you should you know, be able to get them as nice little handouts. And if there's any that you particularly want for us to do, let us know as well. And we'll make some more. Yeah? I think we've got all the, all the things covered. All the bases. So I think now we're going to do a super, um, super top secret um, preview of super top secret preview. micro bit things that are coming up very soon. Mm. Um, I just realised I'd not put one of these like very detailed under the camera. <laughs> so just in case people wanted to look at the, the little so rows and columns are quite nicely um, marked. Yeah, so Paul's can, done a. You can a, do some good coordinate work with that. Paul's done a great job on the kind of um, the branding of these. Um, so they all have um, like the two that we've released so far, and the ones that are kind of upcoming, um, all have the same kind of like nice, really nice kind of simple branding. Um, with the product name, um, a nice, really kind of straightforward description of what it is, yeah. um, a couple of ideas for projects that you could build, and a URL that you can go to, to um, which will link through to the product page that will have all of the kind of information you about the libraries, up. about things to do, about what's actually on the board in terms of like driver chips and stuff like that, if you want to know that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So. The next two that will be released are. Da, 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 da. Um, to get that right up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible. It this, goes in reverse. It's yeah, like a one, mirror. This there one looks go. amazing. It's, um, it's got a big, big smile on it. Yeah, so turn it over and let's have a look at the back. So it is noise bit. Um, it's a little speaker for your micro bit. Is that the same one that's on our speaker fats? It's the same speaker that's on speaker fat. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to make sounds with your micro bit. And make do, noises. Yeah. So we had it like speaking to us. And we had like a, a um, what's the word? Uh, like text to speech. Um, yeah. Like computer voice thing on it, which was quite funny. Excellent. Um, we shall all be robots. You it's can quite actually... loud as well. Is it? Yeah. Um, it's about the right size. <laughs> Sorry, yes. So so that's fun. Um, so that that's should excellent. be coming in the next few weeks. And is there any assembly going to be required on this one? None at all. Oh, wow. Um, all of the microbit add-ons are going to be fully assembled. And the only assembly that's required is um, to slot your microbit in. Mm. And, and just for reference, your microbit does go in facing the front. Yep. So the front of the microbit faces the front of the board every time. So you can't... In theory, you can't mess it up. Said so she trying to do it on camera. There we go. Yep. 
It looks like it's got eyes in the shouty face. So the way to remember is if you hold it with the, the big fat connector on the top up the way, then put your micro bit into the slot with the LEDs up the way as well. Um, yeah. So if you're using um, scroll bit, then basically have both sets of LEDs facing the same way. Um, See, it is difficult to go the right way, isn't it, on the camera? Yeah. Sorry. Carry on. Um, so that's the noise bit. And yep. the other one? The other one is, I love the artwork on this one, it's amazing. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. <coughs> um, so this is EnviroBit. Um, slightly different to EnviroFat. Mm -hmm. So EnviroFat has um, analogue inputs, um, temperature and pressure, light and colour, and... And a thing. I've forgotten which ones you've actually done. I was too busy looking at the Chinese um, on here. An accelerometer, that's yes. the other thing. Sorry. Um, this one has um, a better weather sensor, so it's got the BME280, mm -hmm. which does temperature, pressure and humidity. Um, it has got the same light and colour sensor, um, and it's got a microphone on it. <laughs> Which, oh, which is the best thing. We've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, so Phil has written a bit of software that uh, detects when you clap. Um, so basically you can clap and have the LEDs on the on the matrix on the micro yeah. bit light up. Um, or you could have it trigger, you could have it linked by the radio to another micro bit yeah. and then have like a scroll, f scroll bit on the other one and have that yeah. lit up. So when you clap it shows yep. your message or you could just shout at it we've tried shouting at it going woo works better than going there yeah you can go boo boo yeah that seems to work yeah he's, he's on a ghost <laughs> thing at the moment i think but yeah look at look at the little gold bits yeah, it's Sorry, lovely. i'm trying to it's trying to get nice. it to reflect but in doing so look at that i love he's like the the kind of like concentric circles around the mounting hole as well that's really nice and mm. um, yeah very nice. So that's also coming soon. So yes, hopefully we'll have some little demos for those um, ones as well. Yep. Um, various bits and bats to go with them and 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 more and more. Yeah, yet to be revealed micro bit add-ons. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Um, I don't know, if, did I mention about MicroPython as well? Um, you did. We're trying to provide MicroPython libraries. Um, there's one available for scroll bit um, so again if you go to github um, then it's micropython scroll bit mm -hmm. um, Phil's got instructions about how to install it and um, it's slightly convoluted um, I think mainly because the new editor is still kind of um, in development and it's still a bit kind of rough around the edges. Mm. Um, but in terms of the actual functionality of it, when you get it, when you get all of the files kind of transferred across, it works really nicely. Um, Sorry, I'm playing with them. So, <laughs> yeah. So if you, if you like Python and you're able to code in Python, yep. um, or if you want to learn how to code in Python, then you can use the MicroPython library. Yeah. Um, um, was there anything else we need to tell people? Um, yeah, we've got a couple of new products, um, as well as the microbit stuff. Ooh, other new things. Um, <laughs> we've got a load of new uh, Adafruit stuff coming. Um, so lots of new various radio feather wings. Um, Um, seven segment displays, more LoRa stuff, um, another amp, mm -hmm. uh, touch screen, uh, fancy accelerometer with mm. nine degrees of freedom, and a Flora version of that. Um, temperature sensor, lots of stuff. Um, but one cool thing is this new camera cable adapter. Um, so it's only a quid, and what it allows you to do is to use the little um, 
Pi Zero cameras that mm. have got the small cable yep. built in to use them with the full size Pi that's got the bigger connector. Ah. Um, so basically you just plug your um, the white connector that's on the cable, you plug yep. your little Zero camera in there and then plug the the kind of black end of the cable into the CSI connector on the okay. Pi um, and that allows you to use the little cameras with the, the big, big Pi. Um, does that mean that you can extend it with a standard camera cable? Or are you limited to that we size? Have, we have extenders. Um, mm. So... In theory, yes. If you're using a big Pi, then you could extend the range of it, mm. but not with the little one. You would need a longer... Yeah. Um, kind of like adap yeah, adapter cable adapter. Yeah. to go back down the other way in. Um, and also kind of related to that we've got um, I don't know if it's it's not on sale yet but we've got a, a new zero camera mm. with a wider angle lens um, but the cool thing about this is that you can um, the lens on it you can turn it yep. to adjust the focus on it and it focuses like incredibly close you can hold stuff like about a centimetre away and it'll foc yep. focus on it mm. it's obviously quite wide angle so it's not kind of like not like you would get from a microscope or something like that, but it does mm, focus really close. Have to go and really film close. some fluff and things um, like that. Little things. So that's that's quite cool. Um, so that should be available soon. Um, I think that's about everything. I think that's everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, congratulations to the people that won the Design Spark oh, Awards yeah. today. Um, well done. Yep. Um, and I think that's. Is this the waving bit now? Yep. This is the waving bit. Um, yeah. Let's do the waving bit then. Alright. Cool. Um. <laughs> we'll get rid of this. We'll get yep. rid of this. Oh, that does almost like a <laughs> magic to it away. You can see all the mess on the desk now. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> goodbye. We're not um, very good at goodbyes. We'll Bye. see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>